photojournalist Kate Medley spent a decade taking road trips across the South, documenting gas stations, convenience stores, and quick stops. Along her journey, she realized these places are so much more than pit stops. They are gathering places for communities and often the hidden gems of the neighborhood. She shares her adventure in the book, Thank You, Please Come Again, which we should note was a finalist for a James Beard Award, which took place over the weekend. Congratulations to Kate. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for being here. Thanks so you're, for having me. You're used to covering news and uh, for different uh, news outlets around the country. So are these places that you stopped in and you happened to find in your journey to cover news? Exactly, Robin. Okay. In my journey as a photojournalist around the South, I find myself in small communities where often the only options for lunch are the subway or the local Texaco grill. And at that opportunity, I take that Texaco every time to figure out, you know, where am I in the world? What's for lunch? Who's behind the lunch counter? What's on the menu? What's on the community bulletin board? And for me, these are all clues about where I am in mm. the world, what's important to these people, who lives here, what are their values. Um, so it just became my way of exploring the South. So this became a journey. Did, were you driving around just for the purpose of putting, uh, putting this book together? Or did you, did you find these places along your journey over the years? It started as, you know, I was on my way somewhere else, often covering news, um, and I would stop along the way. As my journey progressed, I started thankfully getting recommendations from people all over the South about, you know, not just you got to try the fried chicken in Greenwood, but you got to try the fried chicken in Greenwood, Mississippi, at the Double Quick, at the Churton Street location, but get there before 11 when Tammy's cooking oh, because right. she's the best yeah, yeah, yeah. fried cook in the well, South. Well, let's go through some of these. It's interesting. A lot of these independent restaurants are in the convenience stores. Exactly. That's happened a lot more up here now. Start with this first one that we see, the Bon Me Boys. Is that right? Bon Me Boys, right outside, a wonderful spot right outside of New Orleans, Louisiana. Right here, you're seeing Gina Wynn. Um, Peter Wynn started Bon Me Boys in the side of his dad's Texaco. He's merging the traditions of his Vietnamese roots with his the Cajun food he grew up with in New Orleans. So you're seeing here a garlic shrimp Bon Me. Um, merging those two traditions. So is it that the gas stations have room for these restaurants and they, it's like a, a consignment lot them, thing? A or? lot of them do. Um, a lot of them are the grills in the back of the gas station. Uh. Some of them were old lunch counters that have transformed into taquerias, for instance. Yeah. I see. Um, so, you know, people are passing through on their way somewhere else. Many of them are workers. They want something that's quick, hot, Inexpensive, delicious. Right. All right, let's take a look. Uh, what's the next one here? Take a look at the picture place. here. Is this Betty's Place? Betty. Betty's Place right. in Indianola, Mississippi. Adore Betty. She was a private chef for B.B. King for many years, hometown star of Indianola. And she opened her own place in the old Wage Chevron where she serves Mississippi soul food right. out of this world. And so you do, you go into the place, you take some pictures, you interview, I assume, the family or the, exactly. the cook and, and do a little profile, and that's how the book is. It's exactly. one place after another one. Yeah. All right. The Fratizzi Grocery and Service Station, I pronounce that right? Just exactly. Fratizzi's in Leland, Mississippi. Um, all, Look at it's that. It's close to the Mississippi River. An Italian family opened almost 100 years ago this grocery store gas station where you can buy your live bait, your ammunition, your house-cured meat. My favorite, the fried olive po' boy, Mark Fratizzi. And you put it all on your charge account. I mean, it doesn't yeah. get much better than Fratizzi's. I think we have time for one more here. Let's take a look at uh, Market Express. Market Express in Charlotte, North Carolina. All the people in Charlotte know it as the quick shop. You see Marta Miranda there. Marta Miranda is born in El Salvador, but she has been the fry cook at the quick shop for 18 years. Oh the gosh. line goes out the door. Wow. wow. It's so it's a combination of locals and people passing through. Exactly. We, yeah. You know, it's one of the few places in America that we all continue to pass through, especially mm -hmm. in the South, a very car-centric place. You know, regardless of your religion, how much money you make, who you're voting for for president, you are all passing through the gas station on an almost daily basis. It's awesome. For more, you can check out katemedley.com and follow her on X and Instagram. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Good luck with the book. Looks really Appreciate cool. it.